Hello everyone, welcome back. The recent news has been reported that NBA five-time champion and superstar Kobe Bryant has passed away in a helicopter accident. It is very sad and shocking to hear this news. I was at a loss for words when I first heard of this report and I made this video with my heart to say a little reflection on him. I remember growing up in Pennsylvania, my school district was in the same league as the school that he went to, Lower Marion. So when I attended basketball day clinics and summer day camps, I learned from some of the same camp counselors who worked with Kobe Bryant. I even knew some teachers who knew him personally. And growing up, I was very much inspired by the Shaq and Kobe combo when watching NBA games. Allen Iverson was well inspired me, but I heavily admired Shaq and Kobe and their teamwork with the Lakers. Before Kobe became an NBA champion with the Lakers for the first time, I used to love seeing him on the floor and being influenced by his hard work on the floor as I was learning the game myself. And when they first won a championship, I was very excited and joyful about it. In the eighth grade, for Halloween, I had a Lakers warm-up jersey. Just a warm-up jersey. There was no specific name on the back of it, and I wore that to go trick-or-treating with friends. I had an afro at the time, too. So when I went trick-or-treating, I wasn't trying to be a specific player. I was simply trying to be a Laker for Halloween. But everybody who saw me called me Kobe Bryant. So I went along with it, and I consider that my unofficial Kobe Bryant costume of that year. Then, when I was in high school, and I had seen tapes of this before, but when I was in high school, I saw the recording of the game between my high school and his high school, Lower Marion, when he was playing for that school. From what I saw of the recording, it took place after Kobe announced that he was going for the NBA draft. So the gymnasium stands at my high school were packed to see him play. And several teachers and coaches of mine were players in that game playing against Kobe Bryant. And my school played really tough against his school, but he and his team managed to win still. And they went on to win the state championship that year. Amazing game to watch, obviously. Amazing to see him play at the high school level and see how that reflects in his NBA career. It was sad to hear that Shaq and Kobe had a feud in their later years as Lakers and that Shaq left the team as a result of that, or more specifically with that being one of the reasons why he left the team. Kobe almost left the team that same offseason, but chose to stay, and stayed until his retirement, winning two more championships with the Lakers, while Shaq won one more championship with the Miami Heat. Moving along, one of the most important things I have to share is that before I was in high school, when I was in seventh grade, I had a family friend who was very much like an older sister to me who attended Lower Marion High School for just one year. She was also a cheerleader for the team that year, for her school, and she just happened to be attending on the day when Kobe Bryant came to visit. So Kobe Bryant was visiting the school and our family friend saw him 
and from what she shared with me, she chased him around the school and met with him and got him to sign an autograph as a gift for me. And I happen to be holding it right here. There it is, Kobe Bryant's autograph. She met Kobe Bryant in person and asked him to sign an autograph as a gift for me. Just extremely nice of her, you know, to tell him that I was such a big fan of him and she knew that I would love to get this from him and she got him to sign this for me. I remember when she first showed this to me and gave it to me, I, I was at such a loss for words by the fact that she met him and asked him to sign this for me. And I've kept it all these years. As you can see, he was still wearing number eight that year, so he signed with the number eight. And, you know, I've kept it safe all these years, and I still have it safe here, and I'm going to keep it safe in the future in this, this folder I got here. I have other autographs in here, too, and I'll put it safely in there. And with the news of his passing, I send prayers, many prayers for, for him, for his daughter Gianna, for the others that were on board with him, and for his family, his wife, and other daughters, and for his many teammates that he had through the years, all his loved ones and deep friends he had. I send prayers all your way, and... I say, Kobe Bryant, thank you for your amazing career, for the talent you brought, for the inspiration you gave to many young athletes, the inspiration you gave to me for signing an autograph for a family friend as a gift for me. And I know your legacy lives on and lives forever. All right, I'll close my discussion there. How has Kobe Bryant influenced you? Were you inspired by Kobe Bryant growing up? Did Kobe Bryant inspire you to play basketball? Did you watch him growing up? Whatever your thoughts are, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Like and share if you enjoyed, and subscribe to me for more videos. I'm making more videos for you as we speak, and I'm making bigger projects for you as we speak. Have a great week and a great life. Oh my goodness, one more thing. I, I've got to share this too. The day of Kobe Bryant's last game before he retired, I remember watching that game live and then I remember watching his interview after the game. One of the questions was asked to him in Spanish and he answered the question in perfect Spanish. And that inspired me to get my Spanish perfected as a result. And that's just another way that Kobe Bryant has inspired me. Inspiring me to learn Spanish. To, I mean, I knew Spanish before from high school, and I knew I had to perfect speaking the language, and seeing him speak perfect Spanish also inspired me to get my Spanish perfected. So, say that with good words, and Thank you for watching. Subscribe to me for more videos.